The girl. We know you wish to be helpful. Can you help now? I am glad to do all I can. We have brought a young girl. She has known no spirit life, and apparently has never known a spiritual thought or impulse. Help her to hear and see that we may be able to teach her. We will write for her. Sis said she was a friend and would like to help her. Immediately the pencil wrote. Where am I? Can you see? Not much. How came I here? Was I kidnapped? Where am I? This was apparently written in much excitement. Where were you before you came to this place? I only know that I was in bed in a hospital. Flu, I guess. Maybe something else. Have you parents? Yes, they took me to the hospital. How came I to leave? Did someone steal me from there? You were very ill and passed out of your body in what the world calls death. No, I don't believe that. I had nothing to die of. Mary, the leader of the circle, wrote that she probably also had heart trouble. Before you went to the hospital did you ever have trouble or fatigue or dizziness when moving rapidly? Why, yes, I couldn't dance as long as I wanted to. Sometimes I got faint when walking. Mary wrote that she thought the girl came over suddenly from heart trouble. Did you ever consult a doctor about it? Yes, but I couldn't follow his old directions. They would have made an old woman of me. And, besides, the boy I went with. What was his name? I can't remember. That's funny. Well, anyway, he was a regular fellow. Danced wonderfully. Took prizes in roller skating. Ran races. And all that. What would he have done if I hadn't gone the limit in dancing? Why don't he inquire for me? Or come and see me? Because he knows he cannot find you, for you are what the world calls dead. Who tells me that? A friend is telling you. You don't know? Yes, I do know. I know the symptoms. Can you hear? No, only I hear you a little. Can you see? Not much. That is because you are in spirit life. I don't believe it. What is spirit life? Sis tried to explain, only to be met with. I don't believe it. Can you see me? Why don't you come nearer so I can see you? I don't like to be in the dark. You are a spirit now, and before long you will be able to see with spirit sight. I must have lost my sight when I was in the hospital, but I guess I am going to get it again. For I can see a little better now. I can see people like shadows moving about near me. Oh, I see two ladies near me. They are prettier and more beautifully dressed than I ever was. Mary wrote. We can help her now to express herself. She has been talking according to her mortal knowledge or taste. We brought her to you because we could not impress her without some kind of mortal assistance. The Lonely Newcomer we have brought one to you who has come to this life wholly undeveloped spiritually, and he is lonely and afraid. Can you help him? Then Mary went on. He was a businessman who thought he was all right for that life or any other. He was honest, upright and industrious. But even these qualities did not always make the entrance here easy for a human life. He wishes to talk with a mortal, and so we bring him to you. Will you help him to say whatever he wishes? After a few seconds of waiting, he wrote. I am here. I came in an accident, therefore had no preparation. Perhaps you will say that the earth life is given us for preparation. But what with business, yes, an almost strangling business life, with recreation only for its help to remove the scars of business worry, there didn't seem much time for. There was silence for a time as if gathering strength to continue. Yes, I am here and am truly trying to talk across the silence to one who is still in that blessed human life. How unlike this life is to out-glorified descriptions of heaven, darkness misunderstanding, hearing blurred to the last extreme. What am I to think? What am I to think? There was another short wait. Have you a body? Yes, a sort of one. And it moves easier than my mortal body did. But I do miss the old machine. I knew how to manage that, and where to go. But here, I can't find my way, or the home that I supposed in some spirit fashion I might find here. This cannot be heaven, surely. Where am I? When you came into your mortal life as a baby, did you understand where you were? Or could you understand what your tiny life meant to you? No, of course not. Well, cannot you see that you are just a little child in spirit life and must wait a little before you understand? Perhaps, but how can I begin? Is there no one there to tell you? Yes, they tried to tell me, 
but I cannot hear them as I hear you, and I cannot see very well. But someone is there who brought you to me? Yes, and he seems to be the right sort, and I begin to see him a little plainer. I can hear him better too, and he looks, oh, far finer, far finer than any human being I ever saw. Is he a spirit? Yes, certainly. He is a spirit friend. Well, he tells me that I am a spirit, and that if I will stop looking backward toward the earth life, and look forward to this one, that I will come into more power and more joy than I ever knew on earth. After a few moments of silence, his guide wrote, He is thrilled just now because suddenly his spirit vision opened out, seeming like a cloud suddenly passing away from the sun and letting the glorious sunshine illumine all things. He says, Is this the beginning? Praise God. If this be so, I will live. I will live and find the glory and joy of this life. The Wanderer So many spirits are here who wish to be recognized that we do not know whom to allow. We will try one who has never written before. He has not acquired his spirit powers and may not be able to tell you who he is. He is very anxious to communicate, but his powers are very weak. The pencil scrambled about over the paper as if someone were making great efforts to write. Then Mary wrote again. This is a pitiful case. He is struggling with morbid thoughts, has not advanced enough spiritually to be able to express himself, but he longs greatly to speak with someone on earth. Has he been there long? Not long. We brought him from another circle because he longed so for communication. He says, For the love of humanity, help me to understand. I do not know the first letter of the heavenly alphabet. I am a wanderer, thrust into this life through accident, with no preparation. What shall I do? Can you hear anyone? Yes, one who calls herself Mary. What does she tell you? I can't make out. I don't know. I don't understand. Why are you so unhappy? I cannot explain. There is nothing here to enjoy. Is there no beauty of scenery? No. All is gray. Are there no people? Yes, there are some. But they do not speak to me. I am alone, and I. Is there anyone you know? Not a soul. What would you like most? I would like to hear and see, and find my way, and have some friends. Why am I here? Again the pencil raced over the paper without making any intelligible words. Are you aware you are in spirit life? Well, maybe. Try to listen to Mary. Then Mary wrote. He is beginning to hear a little. Try to send a thought to him that he is going to hear and see and be happy. Can you tell us your name? All my life seems to have slipped away. What good is my name? You still have a personality. Yes, but they do not call me by my name here. Listen again. I hear a little. Keep it up. I surely will. I do see better. It is going to work. Keep on trying. Will I be happy? Are you sure? Of course. Well, I'll be. You are surprised? Yes. But it's coming. I can see Mary now, and can see others. Maybe you are right. Then Mary again wrote. He will be all right now, and we can care for him until he comes into his true spirit life. He has been dazed and unhappy for a long time, because he had never given a thought to death, to spirit and spirit's requirements and advancement. The life here is so wonderful that it is hardly strange that one who has been immersed in worldly occupation and thought until all else is starved out of their nature would be unhappy here at first. If we could only get this truth over to the world and induce human beings to begin their heavenly life there, such suffering would be avoided. The Child Mary will write for a child who came over before anyone had really taught her of this life and she wonders where she is, and why she is separated from her brothers and sisters. Is she here now? Yes, you can speak to her. Do you know where you are, my dear? No, I do not know, I am lost. Where were you? I was in bed, and a doctor came and gave me some medicine, and I went to sleep. And when I waked up I wasn't sick anymore, but I wasn't home anymore either. Where did you live? 
I lived at the South. But this country does not look like it. It is pretty here though. What do you see? Oh, flowers and trees and water. Are these near you? There are some, I think. But my eyes seem to trouble me, and I can't see as I used to. I want my mama and daddy and Jim and Charlie. Who are Jim and Charlie? My two brothers. Don't you know them? No, I don't know them. How old are you? I was nine my last birthday. I wish I could go home to my mama. What shall I tell her, Mary? Mary will bring some children to talk to her as soon as she can hear them, and they will teach her games and play with her, and she will be happy. Then Sis spoke again to the child. Can you hear anyone? No. I don't hear anyone. Yes, I do hear a little. I guess I am better. I was sick, you know, and maybe I could not hear well. Someone says her name is Mary, and that she will help me until my mama comes. When will she come? When mama comes, will I have a home, and have my dog and canary and my brothers? Then Mary wrote. She is beginning to hear now, and Dee will love to take care of her. Yes, I am sure you will, Dee. Yes, I will take care of her and love her until she is happy and contented to stay with us. She is a dear little thing, and it will be a joy to take care of her. Is this Dee? Yes, this is Dee. She shall not go about mourning because her family are not here. I will have to be all to her, I guess, father, mother, brothers, and dog and canary. Well, you can do it. Yes, believe me, I can. The Victim of Bad Liquor Another helpless spirit was brought for help. After asking him one or two questions without receiving any reply, he asked. Who are you? A friend who may be able to help you. I am lost. Can you tell me where to go? Where were you before? I was sick and in a hospital. I guess I deserved what I got, for I had lived pretty fast and had not been very careful in obeying the law. You mean by drinking liquor? Yes. We thought it fun to fool the, the ones who were investigating our city. We were in a big city. I don't see how I came to be lost. I suppose I fooled the prohibition officers a little too well and drank the old stuff until I wandered away. I am sorry I carried it so far. I have learned my lesson not to drink so much that my mind gets muddled. Do you think your mind is unsettled? Why, yes. What else? I'm lost. Don't even know what country I am in. Can you see? Not clearly. Are there any people near you? There seem to be a few, but I guess they don't speak my language, for I cannot understand them. How are they dressed? Dressed? Why? Well. Gee. I haven't my own clothes. Who played this trick? Was it a trick? Couldn't be anything else. Then, apparently with an air of suspicion. What do you know about it anyway? Do you wish me to tell you? Yes, if you can. Maybe you are one of those prohibition fellows? No. But I can tell you that you died when you drank that liquor and are now in the spirit world. No, I'm not. You lie. That's what you do. No, I am telling the truth. It can't be the truth. I know I am alive. Yes, but in another world. What in thunder do you mean? I mean that you are what the world calls dead. I'm not. Don't you hear me talking? That shows of itself. I'm alive. Don't go on with such nonsense. What do you wish me to do? Help me to get away from this dark place. Do you really wish me to try? I sure do, if you will stop this fool talk and help me out of this. Be very quiet. Why? I can help you better so. Listen. I am listening. Can't hear any words. Keep on listening. There is a woman talking. What is she here for? Why, for heaven's sake. She is telling me I am a spirit. A spirit. Ha! Ha! I drank spirit, all right, didn't know I could turn into spirit. Listen. Be quiet and listen. She tells me I have left my body. Gee whiz. What kind of a place am I in? She says I am in spirit land. Where is that? 
Did you never hear of spirit? Oh, I heard some people talk about it. Went to a funeral once. One of our boys got killed in a fight. We went to see him planted. We gave him a swell send-off, flowers, music, and everything. But that was the end of him. No getting up out of that ten feet of earth. There was something that did not go into the earth. No. Spirit. That does not die. What are you telling me? The truth. And you won't believe me, yet you are now a spirit yourself. I'm not. I tell you, I'm not. Mary says he is so stunned and says. Ask him again to listen. Listen to the lady who spoke to you before. Who is she, the one who is talking? Another spirit like yourself. Another spirit? What? Then, after a little. She says I will hear her better now. I do hear, but what's the use? She is telling you how to help yourself. I don't believe it. He seemed so obstinate that he was taken away. Mary said they could look after him now that he could hear. There had been a visitor here the circle, it seems, whom Mary was trying to impress. She now said. The visitor is convinced that mortals can help in this way. He has never seen this phase of our work, and we were glad to give him this opportunity. He will carry away an experience through which he may help others and bring other circles into this work. The Suicide We have one who needs help whom we think is a suicide. She has been wandering long in darkness and cannot see or hear us. Can you speak to her? I hear you are lost. I am a friend who would like to help you. Well, I am lost, all right. Who are you? I am a friend, as I said. Can you tell us where you are? I am where it is cold and dark and dreary. Why did I come? I suspect you came of your own accord by committing suicide. Yes, I did. I had dreadful trouble over there. But I don't want to remember it now. It was all a foolish love affair. It seems foolish now. I was a young girl, pretty, they said. Foolish and vain, I am sure. Why didn't I know better? I thought death ended all, and I looked forward to forgetfulness and rest. But here I am with keen remembrance, and so far from rest that I am wandering to and fro in the dark, and alone. How do you know you are alone? I know I am alone because no one speaks to me. Can you see? I see nothing. Have you a body? Why, yes, of course I can talk. And I have hands and arms, and a face, at least I suppose so. I can't see my face. You have your spirit body. What is spirit? We tried to explain. I never heard that before. Did your parents teach you nothing about a future life? No, they never went to church. I never heard what they call a sermon in my life. I went to Sunday school once or twice with some of my girlfriends but I could not understand what it was all about. You will have to begin at the beginning and learn to use your spirit powers. Can you move? Yes. But you cannot hear? I can hear you. Did you know that friends near you have been trying to talk to you? No, I never heard them. Can you see anyone? No, I see nobody. Please say with all the earnestness you can, I am going to hear, I am going to hear. What good will that do? Trust what I say and try it. All right, I will. What is that queer sound coming from a long way off? Someone is trying to make you hear. Is that so? What shall I do? Keep on saying, I will hear. I am saying it, all right. I am saying it. Why, the sound is coming nearer. I hear a word or two. Yes, now I hear someone telling me that I am going to hear. Oh, who would believe it? The woman from India We can give you a few words from one from a faraway country, yet one who knows your language. She was English-born, but early went far away to live. We wish her to tell you her need. Then this newcomer asked. Will you tell me who you are? Sis replied that she lived on Earth, and in America, but had the gift of hearing words and messages from them. I cannot believe that for why did I not hear when on earth? 
Sis tried to explain that not all mortals had the same gifts, some were musicians, some were artists, etc. Mary wrote. Will you tell her about America? Tell her where it is geographically. In astonishment, Sis asked if she did not know that. No, you may indeed wonder, but she does not know because she became a servant, almost a slave, and all knowledge or education was denied. How early was she taken to this country? Very young, not far from babyhood. She is asking how you live, who does your work, who gets your meals, what do you eat, how do you get about. She saw her mistress carried by servants in a chair of some kind, or sometimes. Here the pencil stopped, but Sis received an impression of writing on an elephant. The pencil seemed to accept this interpretation and went on writing. But not the free, safe traveling of America. Can she hear you tell of life in America? We try, but she is too confused to understand. Can she read? I do not know. Or see? Not well. Sis then asked her if she could hear. Someone is near who tries to tell me things. How old were you when you left the earth? Not very old. Took fever and died soon. Try to listen. Perhaps you can hear words. Someone says I can soon hear. I know I can, for I already hear her. Then Mary wrote. This is all true. We found her and learned enough of her history to make us realize that she would be a surprise for you, and we thought it might help to convince you of our reality. We could not talk with her to any extent, but we could read some of her thoughts, and we could guide her to you, and you have recorded the result. Did her mistress really ride on an elephant? Yes. We think not often, but the picture was strong in her memory. She was born in England and taken to India when very young. Her mother was very likely a servant like herself. We are now able to take care of her and make her understand and will be able to help her in her progress. She has been on this side some time, we think, 